Great Britain have turned to youth in their selections for this month's Grand Prix qualifiers. And there's plenty of interest for Workington Comets fans with one current and two former riders involved. Flying youngster Dan Bewley, who is in this season's Workington lineup, has been handed a first opportunity to make his mark on the Senior World Championship stage following his sensational start to the season. An ex-Comet, current GP man Craig Cook and double British under-21 champion Robert Lambert will also be competing, while another former Comet Kyle Howarth is rewarded for his form in the early stages of the 2018 campaign. Lambert and Bewley will race at Danish venue Slanger Up on Saturday, May 19, while Cook and Howarth compete at Bensburg, Germany on Monday, May 21. The qualification process has been streamlined this season, and this is the only stage prior to the GP Challenge at Lonsuit on July 28. Great Britain were initially handed three places in the GP qualification process, but their request for a fourth was granted by the FIM when a further spot became available. And Great Britain Speedway team manager Alan Rossiter says the time is right for some of the country's less experienced riders to be given the opportunity, based on their current form. He said, I know there will be people who say with Dan Dune push him at this stage so I want to stress that there's absolutely no pressure on him. This is all about experience? When I spoke with him I said nothing would be held against him if he didn't want to do it, but his reply was I'll never find out if I don't get stuck in. Which I thought was great. Craig is obviously our number one by average, and Robert's form for Kings Lynn this season has been exceptional, so I'm sure they'll both be targeting qualification. I also felt Kyle deserved an opportunity. He's having a very good season so far and he jumped at the chance of going to a Bensburg. I do also want to stress that this isn't the end for the old guard of riders who have served us with great professionalism over many years, and they all have a part to play in our future. I just felt. Especially with the new Speedway of Nations format this season, and not having to select four or five riders for a World Cup as in previous years, this was the right time to do it. Obviously the other rider who would have been in contention was Stevie Warrell, and sadly his broken leg means that isn't possible, but I'm sure he'll come back stronger than ever. It has been a really positive start for a lot of British riders this season and it's fantastic to see them doing so well, so it wasn't an easy choice but a huge good luck to the guys involved, we're all behind them.